Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. Today we have a 2006 Range Rover Vogue. And it's the Update Series, which has the 4.4 litre V8, but not to be confused with the 4.4 litre V8 from BMW, it's actually a Jaguar engine. And it's far more reliable and has significantly more power. It's got many features, being a Vogue obviously, it's the biggest Range Rover they make. It's got navigation, reverse camera, dual zone climate control, at the touch of a button you can adjust the suspension up or down. You will have seen in the photos I took some uh, photos with the suspension down and the suspension up. It's also got hill descent control and a transfer case which means it basically has low range. It's done 130,000 kilometres and it's got a very good service history to it. It's also got the Harman Kardon sound system and Xenon headlights as standard. It's black with beige leather interior and it's been optioned with DVDs in the headrest or rear entertainment I should say. It's got Pirelli Scorpion tyres which is a perfect tyre to have on a Range Rover like this one. The tyres all seem to be in very good condition. The paintwork on this car is excellent. This shape called the L322 came out in 2002 and when it was released it was released with a couple of BMW engines, a 4.4 litre V8 and the 3 litre turbo diesel. The 3 litre turbo diesel carried on into the first of this update series and the 4.4 litre V8 from BMW was discontinued in 2005. It sounded fantastic but it just didn't have quite as much power as the Jaguar engine and in my personal experience was not as reliable. So you've got beige interior but you've got dark carpets which is very sensible, it's much easier to keep clean. The back seats fold down, it's got a full size spare in the back with a Pirelli Scorpion tyre which is great. These represent incredible value for money because they're reliable, surprisingly economical and because it's the update series they ironed out a lot of little issues which they had with the earlier series. It's got parking sensors as well as a reverse camera. It's got original wheels. This is a very good thing because a lot of people bought these Range Rovers and thought it would be a great idea to put 22 inch wheels on them. Um, unfortunately when they went to make a warranty claim they, about their suspension not working they may not have got anything because it actually voids the warranty on these cars if you put bigger wheels on them and the reason why is because obviously if you've got big wheels on the car and you've only got a very small tyre it's putting unnecessary stress and pressure on all your suspension components so it's nice to see this has the standard wheels it's also got the beautiful burl timber inserts and it's got the factory Land Rover rubber mats which I'm not, a, I'm not actually a big fan of rubber mats but Land Rover seem to do it very well and they look fantastic. You also got a newer fibre optics, a much better navigation system, slightly different suspension system. You got one, two, three settings which was similar on the other one. You then had a, a setting over here which was highway. This car does drop down by a few centimetres once you get on the freeway, but this light here now just shows you that it's either going up or down and it's in the process. It goes up and down within a couple of seconds, which is great. So it's got Xenon lights, it's got the original wheels, it's even got the original spec tyres. It's got what I think is the best engine to have. There is also a 4.2 litre engine available, which is also a Jaguar engine 
which is supercharged and it has nearly three, uh, well, it has 290 kilowatts of power, which is incredible. For me personally, if anything, it's probably got more power than required. The 4.4 litre V8 gets from zero to 100 in around eight seconds, which on a car just under three tonnes is more than enough. It may even be just under eight seconds. So it's got Xenon lights, it's got an electric steering column. It's in particularly good condition. It has low kilometres. If you're looking online, you'll find this exact series, 0506, with 180,000 kilometres. I've seen a couple with 260,000 kilometres, 280,000 kilometres. So this is actually regarded as a low kilometre vehicle, even though it's done 132 thousand kilometers. They're built to last if you look after them. They're very reliable. It's got the beautiful piping on the seats as well. Harman Kardon sound. Um, some people buy the three litre diesel because they think they're, they're saving money on fuel. Um, well look, being 130 kilowatts and 0 to 100 in about 13 seconds you may be saving a little bit on diesel, but you're certainly losing a lot of power. And you're losing that beautiful, smooth V8. At the moment this says 15 litres per 100 kilometres on average. They are surprisingly good on fuel. The 3 litre turbo diesel was replaced by a 3.6 litre turbo diesel V8. So that's the engine. It's been very well serviced. It's got front parking sensors as well. And what is also incredible about these cars is they're just as good off-road as they are on-road. You've got car-like handling because it does have an automatic body control system which helps the car stay on the road and handle significantly better around corners. But then again, at the click of a button, the suspension goes up by what looks to be nearly a foot. You've got low range, hill descent control, and I assume you'd have some sort of limited slip, slip differentials or viscous coupling off-road as well system. But it's a very impressive car when I certainly can't stop looking at it. I drove it down the road before and it really is spot on in the way it drives. It's quiet and smooth, exactly how a Range Rover should be. And I understand that you're probably going to be spending an extra ten dollars or $15,000 on something like this on top of the Series 1, but it's money well spent, I can assure you. And it's certainly going to help you with resale value. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Um, our location is in Marrickville, in Sydney, about 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. And we welcome the opportunity to take anybody for a test drive. It does drive particularly well. Thanks again, and we certainly do look forward to hearing from you.